Radio. Welcome to another exciting episode of Cough and Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob, and today we are talking about the most recent releases by the WWE. It's cleaning time at WWE, apparently. I mean, this billion dollar merger, right? Multi billion dollar merger with the UFC to turn into TKO. But time for some late spring cleaning. Get everybody the fuck up out of here. Uh, just in time for fall. And it's kind of shocking to see some of the names that have been released, right? I mean, we'll start off with the big names like Dolph Ziggler and Shelton Benjamin. I feel like Dolph is a utility player, man. You can use him at the bottom, uh, you know, opening match, excuse me. You can use him in the middle against the IC champ. You can use him against the world champ, and nobody would bat an eye because it's very believable. I think getting rid of someone like him is uh, a loss. I definitely think that you should have uh, put him in a better place on the roster. I think he should have been champion sometime around that gender era where you gave it to him. Shelton Benjamin, longtime guy, been there for forever. I think you guys could have been do done better. Maybe one more run at the Hurt Business. Let me run down everybody that's been released, though, really quick. We'll start with Dolph Ziggler, Shelton Benjamin, Mustafa Ali, Rick Boogs, uh, Riddick Moss, Emma, Alaya, Elias, Top Dalla, Dana Brooke, uh, Mace or Masse, uh, and Mansoor. That's from WWE. Now, as we hit NXT, Quincy Elliott, Shanky, Uliah Leon, Daba Kato, Bryson Montana, Kevin Ventura Cortez, Daniel MacArthur, Alexis Gray, uh, Brooklyn Barlow, Ike Manjiro, Abul Abadi Fitzgerald. A lot of fucking crazy names. We've gone over Dolph. We've gone over Shelton. Um, you know, this is with Nia Jax being brought back. So <laughs> imagine her, she comes in, and then they got to get rid of all these other people. Um, Mustafa Ali, that's a kind of a funny one too, right? He was supposed to fight against uh, Dominic at No Way Out. They just announced it, and then boom, two days later, the fuck out of here, clear out your bags. Um, <clears throat> maybe I think that something like that, maybe the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. You know what I mean? I think there's maybe some, uh, a bit of disconnect of what's going on at WWE from, from that standpoint, I think. Rick Boogs, who I thought had a great look, um, I thought had a great look. I think maybe with him and Elias, I think they could have tried to do something more. Maybe something with the guitars. You never know. I mean, rhythm and blues could have worked, you know? Uh, but I, I think that when Rick Boogs, Elias, and, uh, <clears throat> and LA Knight, kind of similar builds, I think one replaced the other replaced the other, to be honest with you. <clears throat> but um, Rick Boogs and Shinsuke even worked, I think. So you never know what Rick, uh, Rick Boo's going to say. He, he said there's a power play, but we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, Riddick Moss, you know, you fucking broke Biggie's neck, dude. I think they were looking for a reason to get rid of you. You and your girlfriend, Emma. And I no, nothing against, you know, Riddick Moss, but things happen, but they're going to look at you real fucking bad over something like that. Oh, no, that was the other guy, huh? Sorry, that was fucking another dude. Uh, homeboy from the Hurt Business, or, or uh, Brawling Brutes, excuse me. Yeah, Riddick Moss, I don't know, I just think... Maybe you should have got some new ring gear, I thought. I think that it was the character was a little bland, God bless him, but I think they could have done more. He could have done more. Uh, they get rid of Emma, too. Uh, Aaliyah, Aliyah, whatever her name is, that's kind of sad. She had a great look. She looks like a star. Um, you know, she hasn't wrestled one match on fucking uh, WWE television this year. She This is after her winning the Tag Team Championship, getting injured, having the fastest match in WWE history, and then they go ahead and let her go. So maybe not as good as, as we were thinking. Uh, they let go of Flop Dollar. God bless him. Uh, I don't think wrestling's for you, buddy. You you look real big, and maybe you can play some sort of other role, but uh, I just don't see it with wrestling. And that's not a shot. God bless you. You know, if the best things in life happen to you, I just don't think wrestling's in your cards for you at all. Uh, maybe some other antique show will fucking take you in to go uh, bother their veterans, huh? Uh, next, we have Dana Brooke. I love Dana Brooke. I think Dana Brooke looks fucking amazing. Get some girls that can work around her, and fucking you can make something happen. She looks gorgeous, has a fucking phenomenal build. It's believable. That's a fucking a real chick, you know? <clears throat> Mace Mansoor, you were fucked from the beginning. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'm sure you'll be popping on the indies. All these people on the fucking NXT, I do not know. I do not know the... Uh, Shanky was a tall Indian dude. Something like that, right? Uh, Quincy Elliott. Uh, well, black gay dude. I don't know. No shots at anything, but... I just don't think that works. Daba Kato, man, you were on that fucking un WWE Underground. If you had that stank on you, it's over. You know, homeboy with the other guy, the Revolution or Retribution or whatever, it's over. Um, some of these other girls, I just don't know. And I just don't think you had enough. Maybe we'll see if they're going to be hitting <coughs> Ring of Honor. You know, what do you think? Are they going to be at Ring of Honor, AEW, 
Some of them I could see, you know. Dolph, obviously, I think that, you know, he could go with his brother. Or if not, do the comedy thing. Shelton's still got some fucking years ahead of him where he can still work. Dana Brooke, again, you look great, you know. Maybe she wants to go bodybuilding. I don't know. But, you know, she could still wrestle. Maybe do some stuff at Impact. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's going to be tough for some of those NXT people. See where they bounce back at. You know, maybe NWA is doing something. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. Where's everybody going? Ring of Honor? Should they get picked up? AEW? Impact? NWA? MLW? New Japan? Let's talk about it. But let me know what you guys think. We'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media at Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled with a K. And that's all for today. Radio.